a minimalist is generally going to say like there's maybe only two instances of papal infallibility in church history which is absurd and that's a very very novel and recent view by the way be that as it may just because one concedes not every papal teaching is infallible just because one grants that and is not a papal maximalist doesn't mean there isn't still a charism of safety that is existent for non-infallible teachings so we can distinguish between a charism that protects a teaching from error we agree that's ex cathedra but there are other kinds of charisms of the holy spirit the holy spirit may not necessarily protect this proposition from error but he will protect it from being so erroneous that it is destructive to souls